Hi there, everyone. Meteorologist Rusty Dawkins with uh, the <clears throat> interesting time of year when uh, you can have severe weather on one side of the state and uh, winter on the other side of the state. And I think we're approaching that period of time. Doesn't last very long, and uh, it usually signifies the changing of the seasons. And that's kind of what we have going on uh, as we head through second half of the weekend. Now, this right here, you'll notice, is uh, 6 p.m. Friday. Nothing going on. So we'll keep going. Saturday morning, nothing going on. Saturday afternoon, nothing going on. Really, Friday and Saturday, really nice couple of days. But let's fast forward, get rid of the clouds. Here it comes. There it is, right there. Okay, so there's the storms. Uh, and the models have been kind of all over the place on this. Uh, some have it north of Omaha, some have it south of Omaha, but most of the models lately have everything in the east, at least eastern Nebraska, far eastern Nebraska, for the severe weather potential into especially Iowa, maybe northwestern Missouri. Several days to go. We've still got till Sunday night. I'm recording this Thursday night, so Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. That's three whole days that we can figure out what's happening. So don't take this, what you're seeing right here, for gospel because certainly things can change and always do. Uh, and even this on the other side of the state, the snow. Uh, that's uh, at one point had it all the way into the panhandle, and now it's kind of pushing back into Wyoming and northwestern parts of, or southwestern parts of uh, the Black Hills area in South Dakota. So just take this for a grain of salt. This is just kind of giving you a heads up, severe weather chance in eastern Nebraska, snow chance in the panhandle. That storm chance goes uh, off to the east very quickly by Monday morning, but the snow chance continues to try to move into the panhandle. I don't think it'll make it much further than that even if it does. So here's your forecast temperature-wise. So we head through Thursday night into Friday morning, and I think we'll start in the 40s. Oh, I believe I said uh, uh, the 30s, 40s, and uh, lower middle 40s for most of us. Uh, maybe some 30s, though. Uh, check out North Platte, Oglala, Valentine, all in the 30s, uh, Shattern as well. Then temperatures will warm up quickly. Uh, this is Friday afternoon. I think all of us get to very close to the 80-degree uh, mark, uh, middle and upper 70s if we don't. Uh, maybe a little cooler to the north, and then we'll cool off again by Friday night into Saturday morning, but not very cold. I mean, this time of year, easily get to the freezing mark, if not below, and I think we'll be well above that, a lot of 40s out there. Then as we head into Saturday afternoon, really nice day, uh, not a lot of wind, plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the lower and middle 80s uh, as we head through Saturday afternoon. Um, and I actually I'm saying a little bit warmer in the Lincoln area. I'll show you that here in a second Here's where all the precipitation will be if we see any the panhandle might see a quarter of an inch Eastern Nebraska might see a quarter of an inch. It looks like central Nebraska kind of misses out on most of it, but uh, it's kind of a oh, Two-part storm system. So this may change a little bit as we head towards uh, as we get through the weekend so Friday Saturday Sunday temperatures all very warm, between 80 and almost 90 degrees on Sunday, and then very windy on Sunday, and then showers and much cooler, 30 degrees cooler from Sunday to Monday, and then temperatures hovering right around that uh, that 60 degree mark for most of next week. So an interesting storm system coming our way for uh, the second half of the weekend. Uh, I'll have more updates on that as we get closer.